Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bella. Doing something a little bit different this time and I've started a new Skyrim video. Um, I'm level 31 at the moment. I'm an Imperial and I like to play as mainly an archer and kind of a stealthy rogue type character. Um, archer, I mainly use my bow for everything. On the odd occasion where I get some close combat, I will draw out my sword. Um, and I also love having a follower. So I actually got a new husband in the game and this is Argus the Bulwark. Um, I got him, not gonna lie, mainly for his looks. Um, he's pretty good in combat as well. It's good to finally replace Lydia. Um, I'm level 31 and I've just picked him up pretty much so I've had Lydia for all of this time but it's time to say goodbye to her and try someone new so let's see if this guy is as good as what she was. The thing that I like about him so far is the fact that he's more stealthy than what Lydia was. She'd always give away our position and it would get so frustrating and it'd just be easier to leave her behind when I go out exploring in the world. And this guy is heaps better, like it being more stealthy and I think he's a little bit better fighter as well than what she is. Or maybe I just think that. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys like this little playthrough session. If so, um, please let me know and I'll do some more videos on Skyrim. So we're standing outside of this really big cave kind of underground area for this quest that I've started. It's been in my map for a while now so it'll be good to finally get it done. Um, I've just got to try to find it. I've got heaps of quests on the go at the moment. Yeah this is it. Unfathomable Depths. A disturbed Argonian named from deepest fathoms was wandering the rift and docks. She insisted I take the lexicon she gave me back to Evan Cell. Sorry, I've probably mispronounced that. It's a really kind of long word. So this is the location that I need to be at. And I did have a quick look online to see what this cave was like and apparently it's like a huge cave and it can be quite frustrating and with so many different like routes you can take so hopefully I get through it okay and I don't get too lost. Well actually I should have checked my bags first to make sure that I've got enough space. Yeah. That's not too bad. I mean, I do like to start dungeons and stuff under 100 carry weight. Not going to bother with the iron ore. It is good to collect, like, if you're making armor and everything, but I don't make armor. I haven't yet. It's something I'd love to try, but I just, yeah, haven't bothered with that yet. doing a bit of exploring around. Hey. Also, don't judge me guys because I am on the easiest setting. I know it's probably like really silly that I do play on the easiest setting but I mainly play this game for exploration and I like killing mobs really easy. So that's why I'm on the easiest setting. A spoon. I don't think I'm going to be needing a spoon. This 
place is unbelievable. Indeed. A Vanchenzel is as much a library as it is a city, built to hold the vast memories of the dweller. A that's, that's, that's how they pronounced wow. it. Well, okay, so there's heaps of spidery mobs down there. I'm gonna try killing some. <gasps> oh my gosh, almost fell off. Careful. These things are moving too quickly. I do have my slow shot. Thankfully. Oh no! Oh, are you serious? My hubby just pushed me off. That is so rude. Oh my gosh, not a great start. And now we're back at the start again because I forgot to quick save. Story of my life. Alright, well, I'm going to leave those crabs this time. And I'll just kill them when I get down there since I can kill things really quickly. Oh, and also, I have got a quick save after I kill this spider. Wow, how come that's not hitting? Oh cool, he killed his friend just by blowing up. Oh actually the dwarven oil will be good. For my crafting. For my potions and other experiments. Oh yeah. Quickly quick save that. So we've got, oh my gosh, be careful, don't go onto the edge. We've got heaps of little rooms and stuff to explore. Is that a baddie? Yes it is. I'm loving these critical strikes that I'm getting. I don't really like these dwarven ruins. Like, they've been my least favourite kind of dungeon to explore. Just because they're really confusing and big. And I just don't really like the architecture and everything because it's all stone. I prefer like the more natural environments and caves and stuff. Although these statues look pretty awesome. And don't go too far off the edge. Okay, that's just a little platform.
Huh? Oh, we're outside now. Not much to see out here. Is that a chest? Yes, it is. Easy lockpick. Stamina. No, I don't use stamina much. That could be good to sell. And this sword, also good to sell. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can I get through? Thank you. Alright, so that's that little section. Not much interesting in there. And wonder what's down here. Oh, it's barred from the other side. That's all good. I'm sure I'll get in there soon enough. Alright, so this is this section now. I can go through up the hallway again. Oh, is that where I come from? No. Came from that other section. Oh, here we go. I don't really play with a lot of add-ons as you can see like I do play with the one that makes your character look a bit nicer but apart from that I don't have any other add-ons because I don't know it's my first playthrough so I just want to play things as organically as I can I know oh shit just getting in my way there I know they make the game look really awesome if you do play with add-ons, but I think it looks pretty cool as it is, even though it is such an old game. Another spider here. No. Silver jeweled necklace that could be good to sell. And another spider. It's gonna take me a little while just to warm warm myself into shooting things accurately again because I haven't played in a week or so, so Need to get used to the controls and everything again. Hopefully it's not too painful watching me missing these easy spiders to kill. Alright, so is there a way down here? Yes. Oh, and here's the down section that I fell off last time. So this place is going to be swarming with spiders. Yep. Yeah. See, he still hasn't fully seen me. That is the beauty of playing on easy mode. And that's why I love it so much. Because if this was hard, oh my god, trust me, I would be killed by now. 
and it's just not fun like if you if you're constantly dying you don't get a chance to properly explore that's why I prefer to do things on easy mode and there is so much to explore in Skyrim That looks like a trap of some sort. Whoa, that sounds so loud. Is something wrong with my sound or is that just freaky as? No, I think that's my sound. I don't know, but it's freaking me out. I want to get out of this room. It just started when I was in that room. Sorry about that, guys. That was definitely my sound. So I had a bug there, but I restarted my game and it should be okay now. Um, what I am going to do is just quickly adjust the game sounds. Um... trying to remember how to do that because the game sounds are quite loud audio master turn that down just a little bit okay that should be good now Cool. So I ended up picking up some armor in that room that I quickly had to run out of, which is this heavy armor. And I use light armor, so it's no good for me, but I'll definitely be selling that. One thing um, I would like to know how I can use is the Dwarven Bolts. I originally thought like you could use them as arrows but you definitely can't so they must be used for something. I just don't have the correct weapon to use them yet. Good stuff to sell from that chest. I know we're on the right track because those ghosts were in front of us so that's generally a sign that you're going the right way. Hasn't been too painful so far which is good. So we've got some thieves coming up ahead. I'll have to make sure that I'm really quiet so they don't hear me. I know I'll be quiet. Let's just see about Marby though. 
Yeah, he's definitely heaps quieter than Lydia. He would have given away our position by now for sure. Just stealthing through here because I think there will be some baddies up ahead. And they've set up their tent down there. You can see their sleeping bags as well. Glass arrow. I don't think I've come across those before. That's pretty cool. And a dwarven bow that I can sell. So it's just the ghost camp here. They're not gonna do us any harm. Considering how big this place is, there is not very many enemies so far. And I knew I heard a spider and he's over here. He looks like the only one down here. Yeah, one measly old spider. Alchemy lab. Oh, and some garnets on the table. Beautiful. Add those to my nice collection. Can't really see much on this bookshelf. So these, um, this dwarven metal would be fantastic if you were actually making weapons and armor and stuff, but because I'm not, I'm not going to bother taking it. It is very heavy and it takes up so much bag space. go through that door that I saw up here first before going down oh and I think there might be trap oh shit uh yowie almost died from that Yep, he's made it. All good. Uh, 
Let's get a tiny little bit of health back. In case there's any baddies in here. Dwarven Warax of Animus. Feels the soul gem. Beautiful. there's anything in here that's going to hurt me it's just pretty much a dead-end room it had one chest in it We got out safely, all good. Alrighty, so now we can go back down to this original room that we checked. Constantly got to keep your ears open in this game. Because generally sound is the first noise you will hear that there's an enemy around. The first sign of an enemy. Okay, we've got a couple more spiders and robot dude. Yes, I'll definitely be unlocking that gate. Stamina potion? No, I won't need that. Scroll, scroll of mass paralysis. Paralyze for 10 seconds. No, not much of use in there. Ebony ore. That's awesome. I thought you said these things were sleeping. You said they were sleeping. I said they were waiting. It seems a few of them were waiting for someone to try and take the lexicon. Great.
Wow, that looks so awesome. Oh my god, my man just fell down there. He's like aggroed everything. Wow, he's fully aggroed the lot. Oh yeah, the spider's seen me. <coughs> now he's slowly going to try to make his way up here. You won't get away from me. <laughs> he's still trying to chase him. Wait, that's one quick way to clear a room. I wanted that all. No secrets hiding behind that wall. Alrighty, so what goodies have we got down here? Daedric Arrow, that's the first time I've gotten these as well, I think. Oh yes, oh okay, so I've gotten another Flawless Amethyst for my quest that I've got. My other quest, so now I just need one more Flawless Amethyst to complete another quest. Heaps of looting down here. Spiders not really giving much. more glass arrows, heaps of soul gems as well in this place. Oh, can I jump up? Soul gem, dwarven bolts. Ruby, Greater Soul Gem. That chair is like full of blood and so is that cogwheel. of dwarven oil I'm going to have to check as well what you get from dwarven oil what you can make from it good stuff to sell so far that I've picked up but I haven't really picked up anything that is an upgrade unfortunately to be careful now we've got some live people that have died quickly save light armor boots they're pretty cool carrying capacity
Dude sounds dodgy, he wants it for himself. I'm just gonna quickly save again. In case there's something lurking around the corner. It's bugged. It's a bugged spider. It's making a lot of noise. Getting closer now. <coughs> All right, that is totally a trap. So I'm going to go around, but my poor old hubby is going to go through. Yeah. That's alright, he missed out on whatever the trap was, thankfully. Oh shit! Accidentally pressed the wrong button. Alright, I'm gonna have to quickly run through this. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh no, don't die. At least I save it. Quickly run past. Oh my god, please. He keeps getting hurt. Another one of them has died. Nah, he's doomed. I need to deactivate that somehow. Oh yeah, he's made it. Ooh, there we go. Here we go. Jug of milk. Ring of minor sneaking. Sneaking is 15% better. Oh, that's cool. Garnet. A bit more ebony arrow, that's so cool. Ebony arrow, I know, are really good. Oh, and I completed my three flawless amethyst. Act 
activate lexicon receptacle. Ancient knowledge added. So I completed that. One handed attacks do 25% more damage. Alrighty, what are we activating here? Oh, maybe I should have saved. Oh well. I'm saving now. Oh, this is probably the other side of that door that we couldn't open. Yes. So does that mean we can escape now? Looks like we've pretty much discovered everything. Oh, we haven't been down this section, I don't think. It was still blacked out. Do I want to bother going all the way back there? You know what, I will just have a little peek because I'm curious as to what could be down there. And I know I can't jump down there. Oh, this is just the way out, actually. So that little dungeon wasn't too painful at all, and I did end up completing the quest. So now that we've actually completed that quest, um, the reward, the ancient knowledge that you saw added into our inventory and in that before is actually a spell. So ancient knowledge, now I have knowledge gained from the lexicon gives you a 25% bonus when wearing dwarven armor and blacksmithing increases 15% faster. So that spell isn't actually really beneficial to me because I don't wear any dwarven armor um, and I also don't blacksmith but later on when I'm um, a bit higher level I think I will try out blacksmithing um, but for the time being I've got so many quests on the go like right now I prefer just to quest and explore. Um, anyway guys that will be the end of the episode for today. I hope you've enjoyed it a little bit something different from myself. Um, if you enjoyed it, please let me know. If you'd like to see more, also let me know. Um, if there's something that you didn't like, please feel free to tell me as well. Um, I'm not really sure if this is something that I'll continue to do on a regular basis or just something now and then that I might like posting but yeah i'd love and appreciate any feedback from you and thank you guys i hope you have an amazing rest of the day bye